Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the daily challenges for today, Tuesday, August the 13th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, so we got some good ones here. Now, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out and give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That were there if you're a brand speaking new player to the game. If you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. Great comments and tips, which are greatly appreciated. Okay, it being Tuesday, we have a fresh new set of dailies. But most importantly, we have a brand new set of weeklies as well. And of course, I complete them all in one day. So I'm going to use a score booster drink. So I do have a 25% natural boost from being a followed first member and I get that 25% boost off the season 17 season pass. We're going to go ahead and use a score booster drink because I have two of them. Now, of course, the score booster drink will give us an extra 25% for 24 hours, which means we can only use one score booster drink at a time. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're pretty close. We're at 148. So hopefully by the end of uh, this video or even the weekly video, we'll be at rank 150 is what I'm hoping. Okay, now if you did, did notice that the score did not pop up when I use that score booster drink, and if that happens to you, all you're going to do is you back out, and then you go back into it again, and you'll see it pop up just like that. All right, we do have the Mothman Equinox event going on every hour on top of the hour. Now the first hour, it did not show up for me, so I'm a little bit late with the video, just so I can kind of see it in action, because I want to complete this daily. So just an FYI on that, and... Keep note for the weekly challenges, you have to complete the event five times, okay? But the one thing good about it is we can re-roll, but it doesn't have the little star next to it like we had with the uh, Festive Scorch, so we can actually re-roll these bad boys. And we have Kill Occultus during the Mothman Equinox event, so just an FYI there. Alright, so taking a look at these dailies here, let's take a look and see what we got. Like to Rat Away or Rat X5, you will note that I have two of them done already. We completed that during the Uncharted Scouts event challenge, so just an FYI if you take note of that. Now, Rat Away and Rat X, we can find that all around the wasteland, usually in and around cultists like Point Pleasant, where the Mothman Equinox happens, and around Blood Eagles, we can find Rat Away and Rat X. Round. Uh, we can find right away and red x off of killing ghouls not not every single ghoul will have that on them but every other one will for sure so you can go ahead and kill sir go ahead and go after some ghouls so one of the best spots for that is right here in morgantown right on the roads and basically when you go on the roads, there's like every block there's about a little patch of four to six of ghouls and you just go ahead and you can collect your right away and red x that way Another way to do it is to by going to medical dispensers, and you can buy right away and right X from the medical dispensers using caps. Now the way that I show, usually show, is we can craft diluted right away and diluted Rad X at our chemistry station. So just an FYI, you can do it that way as well. Now we did that during the other video that I made for the Uncharted Scouts events, and the last time we had this a couple days ago. And all you do is just go craft down here to healing as long as most people will have right away or at least rad x on them you can go ahead you can craft your diluted times two if you so wish do that a couple times and that will also count towards the daily weekly challenge so that's a good way to do it as well and of course when you are crafting kins there's a couple perk cards that'll help you out uh, under intelligence the main one is called chemist you get double the quality when crafting chem so basically if you are crafting two diluted rat away or two diluted rat x you get double the amount so instead of two you get four but it's the same amount of requirement requirements as if you're crafting two so that's what chemist does it's a, it's a huge bonus and plus when you are crafting anything at the chemistry workbench or anything at all you just use if you do have the car super duper at any level will help you out okay uh what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, something to drink here real quick we're going to go to a medical dispenser. Let's go to a train station here, Jim. Let's go to Charleston Station. Just so I can show you that. I like to show different ways to do things in the videos. Just so people can come up with other ideas. Instead of just doing the same thing every single time. Every train station will have one of these bad boys. Just go ahead and use. 
Alright, so they got some rad away and rad axe right there, just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Let's just get two of them. And you could do it that way if you so wish. If you're short on time, you could definitely do it that way. And I just like to kind of show you different ways just to show you how they do count towards the daily weekly challenge. All right, let's head back to our camp here real quick. Because we're almost at the top of the hour. If I can get at least one or two more done, it would be great. And I'll probably have to switch to a uh, public server. All right, we're back here at our camp here. Let's take a look here. Scrap to introduce gears five. So gears we can find throughout the wasteland. We could find bulk. We could buy bulk gears from the mall at the White Spring area. So right down here at the mall, usually the Raider or Frederick will have bulk gears on them. Then you just buy the bulk gears, gears and scrap them. But we can also bulk and scrap gears ourselves. It's the fastest, quickest, easiest way right here at our Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft. Go down to bulk, go to the G section. So there's bulk gears there. As long as you have 10 loose gears and two plastic in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. Let's back out. And we're going to scrap and scrap those bulk gears we just crafted here. Done, just like that. Scrap done to produce gears. And that is hands down the fastest, quickest, easiest way. What's next here, Jim? You can do one more here, just like that. Scrap drunk to produce acid five. So again, acid the exact same thing. We can bulk acid at our Tinker's workbench. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go craft. Go to bulk, bulk acid. So you need two plastic and 15 waste acid to make one bulk acid. Let's go ahead and craft that. Let's back out. Let's scrap. Let's scrap the bulk acid we just crafted here. Done. Scrap drunk to produce acid, just like that. Two easy ones you can do right here in your camp. All right. We're almost at the top of the hour here. And uh, I'm hoping it pops up for us. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to a public server. And uh, do the Mothman Equinox event. Then we will continue on with our daily challenges. Hopefully it pops up. It didn't for the first hour. Usually it does. So uh, cross our fingers here. <laughs> As we know with this game, things happen from time to time. Wait for it to load in here. Now don't forget this is the second week of the Uncharted Scouts event challenges. So again, the second week. And you can check out those videos that I made as well. Alright, so there we go. Let's go ahead and join the Mothman Equinox event. There are two participants so far, but I'm sure other people will join in. Now again, this will count towards our daily challenge. Complete an event, Mothman Equinox, but also during the weekly, we also have kill cultists during the Mothman Equinox event, 30 of them. That one there's a little bit of a push, I wish that one wasn't there, but good thing about it is that we can re-roll this guy, and we can re-roll this guy here as well, the Mothman Equinox, five times. Okay. So we've done this before many a time, speak with the interpreter Clarence, who's on top of the building over there. Highly recommend to wait for other people to join the game. That's what I recommend to folks. And we'll go through this here. Hopefully I have enough I have enough ammo? I do. Okay, I should have enough ammo. Nice. Wish I had some grenades on me though, that would be nice. Now, it depends on who shows up here. Sometimes I can go quick. And uh, I tried doing this in the past with maybe about two or three people, and we failed. Uh, but I know it depends on who's on your, like, who's here, I guess. And 
have a couple higher levels and they got some good weapons on them and stuff, we can possibly get it done, but it's definitely a little bit of a chore if you try doing it that way. Hopefully someone um, someone activates him. It's <laughs> let's get up here. There might be some people here and might not know that. There's enough people here by now. Okay, good. Cheapers. Okay. Speak with me. Children, listen well. Three piles have been placed throughout yeah. the wise. Yeah, now we get time for that, guys. <laughs> Their light is a vital catalyst to our ritual. <laughs> the dim ones have attempted to contain our light. Destroy their vines encircling each pyre. We've got tons of people here. Tons. All right. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only when the vines have been destroyed will the observers instruct you So there's three of these things, as we know, time. down by there, Hurry by the water, now, children, down up there, patience does by the church, and this guy right here by the bridge. Them. Right, let's go ahead now. You just look at the top right hand corner of your screen and it'll keep you updated on what else needs to be done and what's completed. They are watching from above. Kill those guys there. And when you do, you just take the blood. And when you do that, they have these little troughs everywhere in the game. You just go ahead and you put the blood in there and it will. Okay, and then we got the totems. There's this guy who is yelling out. Oh, see that one there got destroyed. There's a totem right there, you just destroy it. Just like that. Now the cultists uh, that are here, they're a little harder to find, but let's see if we can find one. Usually they're kind of hiding inside of the building, so just uh, an FYI on that. And you will hear them as you get closer to them, but we'll see what happens here. <laughs> this guy has the same idea for this person. Yeah. Yeah, see, we people know where we're going to find these cats at. Okay, the cultists are already killed. Okay. You got some blood on me here. It can go fairly quick. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here. And I find sometimes when that happens, it gets a little laggy, so I'm just an FYI on that. There we go. Light that baby up. Ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. Ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment. Now what I like to do, be, I like to perch myself up on this house. You can get up on this house without a jetpack, you just get up on this bridge, okay? From the other side. And climb up here, and perch yourself up here if you so wish. Another spot I like to go, but you need a jetpack to get up here, is this guy. Feel you, let it soak into your throats, let it show you. The truth. But prepare yourself. How did he get over there? Holy. Will be enraged <laughs> by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. Let's just see what else we got here. Our sacred lights, the pyres from those okay. wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The dim ones approach the church. Oh, Slay them, there. children. Offer no quarter. All right, they're heading this way. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before you. All right, so here's some more cultists. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted shadows all serve the will of the false ones. And 
nice. So those cultists that show up, as you can see here, let's check here. Under the weekly, just to show you. So you see there we got two of 30, just to show you that. We do have all week for it, so hopefully you guys get that done. So there's some more cultists showing up there. I like to just kind of shoot at them, and as long as you land a bullet, you're good. You get credit. You must protect it. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. The Mothman around there. Just kind of shoot at them so you get credit. As long as you land a bullet, as I mentioned, you'll get credit for killing them. Alright, let's take a look where we're at now with that. So we get 8 of 30, just like that. That one's a uh, legendary, looks like. Destroyer. Nice. Alright, so take note of the top right hand corner of the screen. We have about 27 seconds left. Let's just keep going. Oh, the guy over there. Let's try to get as many, much credit as we can. Nice. Alright, so we're pretty much safe now to go. Alright, so let's get on top of the building here. Do you feel it? The wise one draws near. He awaits our signal. <gasps> Quickly, children, return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must okay, invite here. him to us. To you just start making emotes like crazy. And all gratitude. Dance. Sing. Shout! Expel bile from your guts! There we go, just like that. Wise Mothman! You have accepted nice. our invitation. We are but meager insects. Now, once when you see the Mothman pop up here, you go up here and you touch him. If it'll let me. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Bast. Bash Moss of West Virginia display cabin, cool. Wisdom. So you go up and you're supposed to interact with this guy, so there we go. You feel enlightened by the presence of the wise Mothman. That's so what you do, you open up your pit boy, you go under your stats and effects. As you see there, true wisdom of the Mothman, 59 minutes, bonus XP, plus 15%. Highly recommend you do that. Highly recommend. Alright, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead under items here, so that's uh... Oh, we got a couple plans here. Okay, Taxidermy Luna Moth. Moths of West Virginia Display Case. Wow, that's, uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Holy. Uh, let's drop that for somebody. I don't really need that. Okay, that's awesome. And let's take a look at our, uh, weekly challenge just so we can show. So, as you see there, we got credit for 14 to 30, and that's highly recommend. What you do is you don't have to kill them per se. You just direct that. Just direct yourself on one of those guys. Just shoot at them a couple times if you have like an automatic weapon. And then that way there, as long as you land one bullet on them, you get credit for the kill. Yeah, that's what I highly recommend to you guys for that weekly challenge. And I'll be going over that again anyway, but I just want to show that. Okay, so Mothman Egg on the to an NPC vendor one. Okay, so of course we can find Mothman Egg eggs right here in Point Pleasant down by the water's edge and in around the statue which is just beneath us here up here at Clancy Manor uh, probably one of the best spots which you won't come across anyone is right here the Kanawha County Cemetery just to name a few spots for you 
All right, let's go ahead. We're going to grab our egg. And they may already be gone. Okay, no, we can go ahead. So all we need is one egg. And as soon as you pick up, harvest one egg, you will automatically learn the Mothman egg omelet recipe. Okay, you'll automatically learn it. All right, so let's, let's head to a cooking station here. Let's pop up here to Grafton Station. Anyone will do. You can go to your camp or wherever there's a cooking station. Someone else's camp will do as well. I just usually come in here because it's usually go to, uh, go to spot, creature of habit, you know what I mean? All right, let's go to the cooking station here. We're down here at the food section. Mothman egg omelet again. You automatically learn it by picking up a Mothman egg. Let's go ahead and craft that bad boy. Let's back out. All right, so now that we see, we see we have our Mothman egg omelet and we sell it to any NPC vendor on the map any robot at any train station we can sell it to duchess down at the uh wayward we can go downstairs to the white spring mall to sell it to any robot down there just an fyi so let's go ahead we're going to talk to this cat here because we're already here Be let's sure go ahead and go trade up while you sell our mothman egg omelet done sell mothman egg omelet to an npc vendor one for one done just like that guys just like that All right, what's next here, Jimmy old pal? Let's take a look here. Kill Windigo 1. Many great spots we can find Windigos. I have several older videos showing you some great spots. Right down here in Lewisburg on the main road. Now, sometimes it is a bloated glowing one, so just an FYI there. But most times it is a Windigo. Right over here, we have the Haven Church. Again, sometimes it is a blow and glow glowing one, but sometimes it is a Windigo. Right up here at Freddy Fear's House of Scares, same deal. Windigo, but sometimes it could be a bloated glowing one. And down here, Skyline Valley region, usually on the uh, west side of the Dark Hollow Manor, down in those little caverns there. Usually there's one down there. And we have found one up here, three pawns. Now, sometimes it is various types of enemies here, but uh, we're going to try three pawns here in this uh, episode to see if we can find a Wendigo here today. Now, last time we came here, he wasn't here. It was a different type of enemy, but we'll try our best. See what we can find. Oh, we have a... Oh, we have the mole up there. Never mind. So, uh, he's definitely not a Wendigo. <laughs> Let's get to go to good old Lewisburg, so we're actually going to spawn here at Lewisburg Station. So only one type of enemy will, enemy will spawn there, so again, it's uh, not a 100% guaranteed spot, but this spot is usually reliable for me, so we'll see what happens here. We're going to go up this little side street. Gonna make your way on top of this little tent here. We have a couple ghouls. Where's our Wendigo? Huh. Odd. He's hiding today. Wow, okay. Well, how about that? Just some ghouls here today. Game's doing me dirty again. <laughs> Let's keep going here. I can lure him out somehow. These guys are running for the hills. He's, oh, he's up on the tent, guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, well that's disappointing. Hopefully you guys have better luck there. Oh, maybe that guy, that person in there could have killed him. That is a possibility. Let's go up here to Haven Church. Let's pop up here. Try it out. That wasn't too bad. That Mothman Equinox event went by uh, pretty darn quick. And that's what will happen with uh, a lot of people showing up. So last time we were here, we had great success. And there's an ant forager here, as we can see, there's a good spot for an ant. Look at that 
guy. Alright, so the Wendigo will be right inside the church itself. Oh, how you doing there? Holy. Holy ant. Okay, so right down here is where our boy hopefully is. Where are the Wendigos, guys? Huh? Where are me Wendigos? Usually he's down here. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Let's go to another server here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a private one. And we'll try this spot out here again. Now, it is a possibility that someone else on this server could have already killed the Wendigo, and the body despawned. Maybe we're within that cooldown part, so that's something you always gotta, you always gotta think of when you go to these spots, right? When you don't see either the blowing glow to glowing one, or that Wendigo, that means someone was here within the half hour and already killed it, and the body despawned. And it won't respawn until that cooldown is done. So something you gotta take care of, and you might have the server hop a couple of times, but we'll just go to a private server and we'll try it out again here. All right, let's go back down to Lewisburg. On this server here. Lock and load here, Jimmy, old buddy. Instead of dealing with all of them, I just want to deal with the Wendigo. Save a little bit on ammunition, you know what I mean? Don't have a whole lot right now. Alright, so same deal. Let's head up there to the main road. And cross our fingers. He's going to be here. And you could just try doing the same thing. You can just simply just server hop this area a couple times and see if he pops in for you. He's not here at all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> hopefully they didn't. Uh, hopefully they didn't change this. That would uh, be a bad thing. Okay. Let's head down here. We'll try the uh, three ponds again. <laughs> There's always something. Oh, let's set up there. Oh, we got some ants up there today. That's fine. Let's go to the Dark Hollow Manor and we'll make our way around the outside where that Wendigo, where I've seen that Wendigo. So let's try down here. Seeing how we're already down here kind of deal. Usually where I've seen them is right down here on the west side. Yeah, this place creeps me out. Ferals. Let's try this place out here. Usually where I've seen them is right in around this area over here. I was hoping it would have been there at Lewisburg, but... Ow! Get hit by lightning, again. Let's check. Oh, there he's right there. There's our boy there. And he is a pretty good spawn. I have seen here, been seen him here many a times. Um, if you are looking to come down here, 
trading post is a free fast travel once when you discover it, so just an FYI. Right, let's see what's next here. Kill a K95. Many great spots where we can find canines. Right up here at Aaron Hold Homestead. We get some mongrels. Right up here at Grafton Steel, we have the mutant hounds. Okay, so mutant hounds also consider canines. Right down here at Big Fred's Barbecue Shop, we have foxes. They're also considered canines as well. I'm gonna get hit by lightning here in a second. I could feel it. I could just feel it. Uh, sometimes we can find some canines up here by Makeout Point. So that's an also a fairly good spot. It's not a hundred percent spot, but we can find canines out here. So let's um, let's go up the good old reliable. Aaron Holt Homestead here today because we know we'll find fire them up here for sure. Part of the forest, nice and easy for everyone. And uh, we'll check this place out. Now, if you are on a server and you see leader of the pack show up, like in around here, Tyler County Fairgrounds, there'll be all kinds of wolves for that one as well. And talking about wolves, of course, we have the Autumn Acre Cabins. All kinds of wolves. There are at least six of them up there as well. So that's pretty good. Pretty good option for you guys. We're just gonna go up here, nice easy spot. I think we deserve it from going after that. Trying to go after that uh, Windigo there. Usually there's one more in this house here. It's upstairs. Okay. Just waking up from his nap. There we go. Kill a canine five for five. There we go, guys. I think we're done. Yeah, just a little bit longer than usual because we did the event, but that's pretty cool. We're still able to explain a few things. Go after those windigos. Hopefully you have a better chance finding those windigos than I did. Uh, but yeah. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Rob Cole, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps, Mr. Prince, Not Me, But Me, Yes, Me, That's Me. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.